Hey guys, um, I thought I'd do a quick video uh, on a little, a little experiment that I've uh, done over the last few weeks. Um, I, I've had a bit of trouble culturing uh, and growing brine shrimp to adults. It's just been a little hobby of mine for a while, and it seems like every time I kind of, uh, you know, hatched a, a you know, a batch, um, fed some to my aquarium, and left some over in a tank. Um, within about five, six days, they just tend to die off. Um, I've gone through, you know, I had everything going. I had a nice, you know, little heater, air stone, um, and I would feed either egg yolk or spirulina um, or yeast. I tried everything. And what would happen is the water would get fouled up. Um, either that or I was underfeeding and it just, they're just, yeah, after about five, six days, they're, they'd just be lying on the floor. Um, so... A few weeks ago, I decided to um, culture, start culturing live phytoplankton just as a little experiment, little hobby, um, and um, with the use of light, a heater set to 25, and just uh, air air bubbles that you know provide constant water movement. And uh, I found yeah, after five six days, um, you know, solution would get pretty dark. If I turn the lights off now, you'll actually see how dark this solution actually is. I mean, that is ready to, you know, go into a tank or to uh, be sold. Um, and uh, I started reading around that, uh, you know, Brian Trim's main food source in the wild is phytoplankton. So I thought to myself, well, um, why don't I just chuck, you know, five or six, you know, Brian Shrimp in there and see what happens. And pretty amazed with the results so I have had this for about two weeks and you can see that there are quite a lot considering there are only you know five or ten to start with there are quite a lot of brine shrimp over here um, mating quite happily um, a lot of them are pregnant as well you can see one there that's pregnant um, and they're growing they're growing fast and not only that there's already a ton of babies which you you can't see but um they're, they're definitely there so um the benefit of this is i've got brine shrimp that are feeding happily and i've got phytoplankton that is culturing and growing which means there is a constant source i don't have to do anything i don't have to feed i don't have to dose more phytoplankton um the fertilizer and the light is taking care of itself um, you know, if I feel it's getting a bit light, I'll just basically, um, put a bit more fertilizer and if needed a bit more light, but to be honest, I've got a light over here and I've got a light on the side, just a little lead strip stuck to it. And also, um, a lead light basically shining down from above. And I think it's more than enough. It's plenty. So I've also tested the water. The water doesn't seem to be, uh, having any nitrates or ammonia and i'm guessing that's because the live phytoplankton is consuming nutrients in the tank um, and also i've got an ebay page which is uh, on a link below which i actually sell the live phytoplankton so um, you know every couple of days i'm always uh, taking and replenishing the water so that also helps um, yeah and i just really wanted to share it with you guys to just know how easy it is to have a setup where it just takes care of itself now i can walk away and leave this for a few weeks and when i come back the population will probably be double so <laughs> Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Look, I'm definitely open to criticism. This is very new to me. Um, you know, send something on the comments. I'm happy to reply. Um, but yeah, if there's anything, let me know. And I uh, hope you enjoyed.